そうはさせんぞ貴様の相手は私だ少子キャプテンファルコン私の夢がブラックシャドウ地獄の道行きはどうやらお前と私になりそうだキャプテンファルコンファルコンを超えた者だけがファルコンになれるデュースザック今日から君がキャプテンファルコンだ<笑>私は死なん死なんぞアルコアームキャプテンファルコアアメイジングシーン、like、that. It's, it's Now, Captain Falcon, as you all know, is a racer in F Zero, but he goes a lot deeper than that in terms of his own character, and I feel like Nintendo really hasn't tapped into that potential with him. The thing is, is that you have to understand Captain Falcon is probably the most loved character in Super Smash Bros., and the whole time leading up to his release, as being, well, not his release, but his reveal in Smash 3DS and Wii U, everyone was anxious in terms of if he was going to make a return or not, because Sakurai didn't say anything in regards to his inclusion before his reveal. So, when he was finally revealed, everyone was happy, of course, but then Sakurai managed to post a pick of the day with Falcon when he was revealed, saying this And welcome back, Captain Falcon. When are you ever getting a game of your own? And this, my friends, is what the subject of this video is going to be. Captain Falcon deserves a new game. And like the title says, I'm not talking F Zero, I'm talking Captain Falcon, the legend himself, the myth himself. This guy. I, I, I'm gonna keep driving this point home. This guy is loved by everybody. I mean, if we take a look at his Wikipedia article here, we're going to move down to reception. Take a look at this. Captain Falcon is one of Nintendo's most popular characters in the Smash Brothers series. Reception to this character has been positive, and Nintendo Power listed Falcon as their 20th favorite hero, number 20 on Nintendo Power's favorite list. That, that is incredible. Jokingly commenting that he is kind of a jerk, citing the massacre of the Pikmin in Super Smash Bros. Brawl in the Subspace Emissary. So, I mean, like I said, Captain Fal and, and, and it, it goes further than just his slaughter of the Pikmin in that game. In the reveal trailer for Captain Falcon and Robin and Lucina, it's because of Falcon that Krom isn't in the game. He beat Krom's ass so bad. That Lucina had to come in, then he beat her ass too. But he, he beat Krom into submission to the point where Krom wasn't even going to be in the game anymore. Falcon took Krom out the game. And then he was about to wreck house on Lucina, but then my man Rob had to come through. Robin, I mean. And, um, but. This just goes to show you, in terms of power balances, there's sometimes, you, you can be able to tell sometimes exactly where a character stands by how Nintendo references the character in their trailers and whatnot. Captain Falcon managed to take on the entire Fire Emblem cast of Smash Brothers, holding it down and fucking up two of them in the process. This guy is amazing. Let's also add the fact that he doesn't really talk too much, but the times that he does, he happens to say the most amazingly obnoxious stuff in the world. Show me your moves, come on. 
I'm citing stuff that you guys already know. And let's not even talk about the fact that this guy has spawned endless internet memes, references, been a massive influence on pop culture. Everything about Captain Falcon just screams the most loved character. He needs a game. Now, I'm a little bit, I wanted to do this video months ago, but I wasn't really a big enough channel, so I felt like it would fall on deaf ears. But now that I have a lot more of an audience, you guys have to, you guys have to hear out my mini rants in terms of Falcon. All the reasons that I just described to tell you exactly why Falcon deserves his entire, a whole game based on him. F-Zero is great. I love the racing mechanic in that game. I mean, excuse me, I love the racing mechanic in those games. And I feel like those should not be dropped, even though we haven't seen a game from them in God knows how long. I feel like the last one that was released officially was um, F-Zero for the GameCube, which I had. An amazing game in itself, and the racing should be kept. But Falcon, if we take a look higher in terms of who Fal who who is Captain Falcon? Who is Captain Falcon? As you guys can see here, I'm zooming this in really close, but as you can see here, Captain Falcon is a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter and a professional racer. With those two things in conjunction, the first thing I think of is, you know, Samus. Samus is also a bounty hunter, but Captain Falcon is one as well, too. They can make a game which is based on this profession of his, because judging from F-Zero, if you didn't really know too much about the game without researching, you wouldn't know that that's the kind of thing Falcon does. He's a bounty hunter, man. He, he He's an intergalactic bounty hunter. He scours the galaxy looking for niggas to put on his hit list, and when he does it, he does it with class, he does it with style, finesse, and he, I mean, Falcon is an amazing character, and I feel like this is somebody, to be honest guys, I'm actually shocked. I'm fucking shocked that Nintendo has not done anything in regards to him or his character development in a game or something. They released the anime. The anime kind of takes a little bit of a twist on Captain Falcon. If we go further into the Wikipedia article in the, about the anime, um, here we go. The, in F-Zero GP Legend Media Continuity, um, Captain Falcon is a title given to a person instead of an individual's actual name. So let's just say I was Captain Falcon. When I die, somebody else becomes Captain Falcon after that. It's kind of like a, like a title that's passed on, you know? And it kind of has like a little bit of a spiritual, spiritual bearing on the person. But in, I think in the actual can, like I mean, the anime was canon to an extent. And I feel like Falcon himself in the anime was definitely a canon character, but still, I, I, I don't think the anime could be taken 100%. Like, I feel like Captain Falcon is Captain Falcon in Smash Bros. and whatnot. So, what kind of game would Captain Falcon be in? That, my friends, is the big question because I was thinking, well, he's a bounty hunter, right? How about we just have him in an environment where, you know, he's fighting aliens, fighting monsters, whatever. But it's tough to put a finger on it because he has such a strong basis in terms of racing games with F-Zero. So to make him into a game like that would require a lot of tweaking, you know? It, it, I can see why Nintendo probably hasn't jumped on the idea because it's kind of difficult to work with the guy. You don't want to you don't want to make a game and people hate him because of how they portrayed him in the game. He's kind of a legend where he is, to be honest. Like, I mean, they could not do anything with him for years and he'll still be just as loved as he is now, if not more loved. I mean, let's see. So, in terms of a game style, there's, there's a lot of options, though. There's a lot of options. I mean, we could potentially put him in a beat-em-up kind of game, which would be kind of like Scott Pilgrim in a way, but it wouldn't really make much sense because he would be the only person playable, but we need a game focused on him. Just like if Deadpool got a game focused entirely on him, then there's no reason why Captain Falcon shouldn't have a game on him. This guy just, he, he screamed, he just, he just screams money. I mean, and like I've said, Nintendo, they haven't acted on it, and I would really love to know why. Like, Captain Falcon game release. So the game that he would get released in, I wouldn't want it to be called F-Zero because it takes away from the fact that Falcon is actually the hero and I mean, let's just be honest guys, I mean I know some of you guys may love the other F-Zero characters that are in the series, but they all get foreshadowed to hell and back when it comes to the Falcon himself. Nobody comes close to being as loved, as popular, or anything. F-Zero, to be honest, without Falcon, is kinda shit. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun racing game, but it's shit. The, their advertising for it has been horrible, and the only person that's really had any kind of merit who's been showcased on anything, in terms of a poster boy, is Falcon. So I mean, that's why I'm saying F-Zero needs to be dropped. I mean, make it a separate game, but Falcon needs his own series, man. How many of you guys agree with this? I'm talking a bit out of my ass. I'm just hyping it up. You know I'm, you know me, I'm a hype man. And But this is something I'm passionate about because I would love to learn more about him. Like, he's a mystery, man. He's a fucking mystery. I would love 
to learn more about who Falcon is, his origins, um, where he got his power from. You know, this guy can obviously harness fire. I mean, so a game would be great to explain all of this with him. But um, in terms of uh, who would design it, isn't it obvious? Daddy Sakurai himself. I mean, he was able to resurrect Kid Icarus and bring it back in a really nice format. Kid Icarus Uprising was an amazing game. Daddy Sakurai really needs to get back on top of that because, I mean, to be honest with you, even though I know he's tired from making Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U, he's the only person that I can think of who can make Captain Falcon into a game and make it memorable, make it shine, make it pop, you know? Sakurai, when he touches a game, when he, when he creates magic for us, he leaves an effect on it that just sticks. There's just something about the game after he makes it that just, it just screams charm, man. It's charming, it's engaging, it's, it, it's easily replayable. That's the thing, man. Sakurai, if you're watching this, Daddy Sakurai, you retweeted me so you know who I am, Daddy Sakurai. If you're watching this, please consider making some kind of game for Falcon, even if it's only a 3DS game. Give us something with Captain Falcon. It would be amazing to get some kind of backstory on this guy, to get some kind of look into the life of Falcon. You know, what does he do on a regular basis? He doesn't even have to talk in the game. Don't, if you don't want him to talk to ruin his character, then by all means, like, Metroid Other M, a lot of people were mad because, you know, Samus was kind of like more explained, her mystery was kind of like lifted. Don't do that with Falcon in his own game then. Make that motherfucker silent. And the only time he talks is a yes. <laughs> like that's what I'm talking about, baby. Come on, Falcon, let's go. Cause so that's what I'm saying, man. Captain Falcon is in desperate need of his own game, and Sakurai, you're the man for the job. I hope someone over there at Nintendo is working on something in relation to Captain Falcon. I hope somebody out there, Miyamoto, Reggie, somebody, please do something with Captain Falcon. It has to be done. I'm tired of, of this character, this amazing character, just being left alone as if he has no relevance or no kind of potential, no kind of hidden talent for Nintendo to take advantage of nowadays. I'm a little bit pissed off with it because, you, okay, Okay, sure, I don't tell you guys every day, oh, I love Captain Falcon. It's fucking implied. The internet loves this guy. <laughs> come on. You know how many memes have come off of this dude? I mean, sure, they're older memes, but this guy helped develop the internet at a very early stage in its lifetime. I mean, in 2006 to 2009, or 10 even, Captain Falcon and the Falcon Punch was something that everyone on the internet recognized. Even if you didn't play Smash Brothers, even if you didn't fuck with Nintendo, even if you didn't even... Even if you had no idea who he was, his smug attitude, the way he behaves, everything about this guy, you, you gotta love Captain Falcon. You got to. So, I'm hoping that this request gets heard. I'm hoping that somebody over at Nintendo is able to do something with the guy. Or maybe we're gonna get a release trailer tomorrow. You know, Captain... Who knows? Who knows, but this is something that I wanted to share with you guys. This is where my passion lies right now for games that I want to see. It would be really confusing, but Sakurai is the only guy to do it. Sakurai has this amazing uncanny ability. When he creates a character or when he recreates a character like Pac-Man or Pit from Kid Icarus, he makes them in such an amazing way. He portrays the characters in their most, in their most prime state. Look at how he did Mega Man in Smash Wii U. He's amazing! Not just talking about his moveset, but his representation, his visuals, everything about Mega Man is amazing in Smash Brothers. So and Pac-Man! Sakurai makes these characters come to life! When he brought Pac-Man from 2D to 3D, even though the 3D Pac-Man already had a TV show, which was all hell in itself, I don't even want to talk about that, he made him in his, pr like, Sakurai, when he, when he makes characters, or when he brings them up to date in recent games, he brings them up to date in their prime state. In their most original, true to self, yet prime state. And he makes them in 3D, he makes them charming, likable, and he has this habit with every single character he's ever touched, man. Palutena, same way. Everyone loves Palutena in Smash Brothers and loved her in Smash, uh, uh, excuse me, in um, Kid Icarus Uprising. Sure, she talks a little bit too much, but with the body like that, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, man. And this is the case with every single character in Smash. Sakurai brings them to life. And, you know, you're tired, I know. But I feel like Captain Falcon deserves a remake and a remaster way more than Pit did. Way more than Pit. He should have gotten one right away. This guy is loved, man. If Nintendo isn't working on anything in relation to Captain Falcon, fuck F-Zero. If you ain't, if Nintendo, if you are not working towards anything for Captain Falcon himself, the poster boy of Smash Brothers, then shame on you. 
Shame on you. Get to it, Nintendo. You have a gold mine on your hands. You can make a million games with this guy and they will sell. They will sell. Get on top of it. Put your best minds on a game mechanic, on an engine, on a plot, and get Captain Falcon in the homes of everybody just besides Super Smash Brothers. This is a huge missed opportunity and I don't know why Nintendo is just sitting on it. What do you guys think of Captain Falcon in terms of him getting his own game? Would you buy it? Never mind, I already, that's a stupid ass question. Of course you would buy it. How bad do you want it? Let me know in the comments. Let's get somebody to hear this. Kotaku, if you're watching this, get Captain Falcon somewhere, man. I need him in my house for crying out loud. No homo. I need Captain Falcon <laughs> in my living room right now on a Wii U. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a goddamn good one.